guys, it's Monday. Welcome back to another Mixology Monday with the Metal Mixologist from Drunken Smithy. I am once again competing with the cicadas. So hopefully you can hear me. Today we are going to be making a spin on a Negroni. So Negronis are gin based. I'm kind of trying to cycle you through some different liquors here. I'm going to make one that is one pretty and two super herbal because my herb garden is dying. What a perfect time to use the rest of my herb. And also, I got a fun new toy that I will show you. So, Negronis are basically equal parts vermouth, gin, and Campari, or Amaro. I am going to use a white vermouth instead of a sweet vermouth because this particular one that I have is super herbal. If you don't have that, regular Rossi sweet vermouth is fine. So, equal parts. I do recommend for an herbal one, I would use this Midsummer Gin, which is super herbal, a little bit sweet, and I'm actually going to make this one gin heavy because I want to do half and half on my gin, so I am going to do two ounces of gin, so it will be gin heavy. Empress is a blue gin that changes color with acid. It's not a super amazing gin, there's nothing anything super special about it in my opinion, but it is a very pretty color. using my white vermouth here is actually going to help it keep its color. Now the Campari has a really dark color and I'm only going to put a splash in mine because I don't care about the Campari that much. You have the recipe for if you want to make a typical Negroni. But I put in more gin and a little bit of Campari. Just a little Campari. So half instead of a whole. And this is already rainbow. I am also going to add a little orange juice because I am going to be using some orange smoke on this cocktail. This is just I did at my twist off of here. So there's a twist in my glass, little orange rosette. Give this a shake, and between the Campari and the acid from the orange, we will have a purple drink instead of a blue drink. Shake it till it's cold. The Campari made it more of like a fuchsia. And now I'm going to show you my cool new toy. We will address the elephant in the room. Obviously, this is a toy that anyone can burn anything in. I bought it specifically for making cocktail bubbles. So I'm going to get some smoke going here. The wind is not crazy loving my flame, but... bubble will work on the first try. There you have it. I didn't get as much smoke in my bubble as I had hoped with my orange peel, but you can see I have a bubble. And when you pop them, a little bit of smoke lifts away. I don't know if you can see it in camera, I just had a little smoke bubble. But it adds just a little extra aroma when you're drinking. recently this week a new kind of um, infused seltzer water. Not alcoholic, just seltzer water. 
Ourobora makes really heavily herbally infused seltzer water. And I ordered them by the case. My favorite is lemongrass coconut. But I have strawberry basil here. And I just pulled it out of my mini fridge that I have beneath this bar that I do my videos at. And they taste really heavily of whatever the herb component is. So this one's strawberry basil and mostly tastes like basil. It's still going to give you that herbal cocktail feel, especially if you put it in a pretty glass. And I enjoy that. I'm not going to worry actually about any smoke in this bubble, but we'll try and give it a bubble anyway. The breeze will cooperate. So I've got a bubble on top. You can still enjoy beautiful, fun things without the booze. So this is just an infused basil seltzer water. Like I said, they make lemongrass coconut. They make lavender cucumber. They make, what, strawberry basil. They have five flavors, I believe. And they're all a watermelon peppermint. They're all the herbal component with a hint of fruit. There's no sugar, no carbs. They're keto friendly and non-alcoholic. So I'm going to enjoy both of these on my Labor Day. They are delicious. Cheers. See you at the board. Monday.